this is mine. Welcome to Dark Bay. Hi, this is Sergey from Sharkbait. Um, just here to talk about some new accurate reels. Um, initially, they came out with a 300 size. That was the first one that actually, you know, that was the first Valiant to be available. It's a nice little size. It was very popular for slopage jigging, so they kind of started focusing on that market a little bit. Um, it's a nice narrow size, no clicker, no clamp. Uh, fits perfectly on smaller, lighter action rods. Um, so that was their first intro to, you know, the Valiant series, and it turned out to be one of the best, you know, slippage jigging reels on the market available. Um, and more recently, they have decided to, uh, you know, up the ante a little bit and decided to go all in on a bigger size reel with a bigger handle, which is going to be much more comfortable for jigging. Longer handle as well. So this is going to be the new 500N slippage jigging edition. So. So the first main feature and you know, the most prominent one is going to be the redesigned handle. It's got a more ergonomic design than the standard uh, you know, extreme larger T-bar knob, uh, as well as the ball handle. Just much more comfortable when you're jigging, slopage jigging, or you know, fighting bigger fish, uh, especially on smaller reels like these. It's going to be a really tall and narrow size that kind of fits the you know, all-around criteria. The 300 is nice for shallower jigging uh, and the 500 end is going to kind of cover your deeper, your shallower and, and kind of all around fishing. Um, they do also have a, a longer handle arm so this is going to give you a lot more cranking power versus the standard uh, especially on a single speed you know you want that extra torque that you have from the longer handle arm. Um, the other feature is of course no clicker you know no one for jigging really uses a clicker you know sometimes a spool stop but you know there's no reason to have that feature on the reel so they removed that to save weight and overall you know despite the larger handle these reels only weigh about an ounce more than the standard uh, valiance they do come in a single and a two-speed version you know lefty and righty um, you know two speeds nice if you're going for bigger fish especially I mean the lower gear ratio is going to help you crank down on the fish especially with some of the heavier rods, um, you know, slow pitch rods. Um, but for most applications, the single speed is going to be perfectly fine as well. If I could ask, on line capacity, for a 300, for the 300 size, how much line does that hold? They hold around 300 <coughs> to 350 of, of 30 pound braid, which is about, you know, the most you'd want to put on it. So, yeah, and then we go to the 500 size, you know, do people fish the same line really, test, or does that bump up to 50 or 60? It really depends on what you're doing and how deep you're going. You know, the deeper you're fishing for jigging, the lighter line you want to use because, the, you know, the heavier the line, the thicker it is, the more uh, the current's going to affect it. So typically they'll still be fishing 30 or even less, depending on the diameter. You can go up to 40 or 50 if you want to. You know, you're getting around 500, 550 of 30 pound, maybe 400, 450 of 40 pound and a little bit less of 50. Um, so kind of personal preference in what you're doing, but uh, for most applications, you just want, you know, the lightest line you can get away with, which, you know, for most instances, 30 is kind of a good ballpark. So on the 500, you could be doing, say, uh, 300 yards plus of 50 pounds sure. right here, or 60 uh, or 30 here, or if you wanted to have extended line capacity and run, say, 30 pound on the braid, there you're probably looking at 500 yards or better. Yeah, so, uh, absolutely. I mean, the actual line capacity, especially for deeper, uh, for deeper, you know, over in Florida, I mean, sometimes they go, you know, a thousand feet, um, you know, get all sorts of snapper and, you know, different varieties of fish. Here, it's more limited, you know, a lot shallower. So a 300 or the 500N with some heavier line might actually work better. So they're, you know, both good options. And most of the guys in Florida are fishing shallow, you know, yeah, 100 feet, it is a lot 150 shallow. feet at most. And then for the deeper trips, like you said, yeah, they're going to drop down hard. And that's going to be, you know, better for the grouper, you know, catching for them. But for a lot of guys, they're dealing in 300 feet or less, <laughs> even right. out here. So plenty of line capacity. How about the drag, you know, from those reels? What what do they do? Uh, I believe the 500 ends right around 30 pounds of drag, which is, again, more than what you'd ever use on the reel. But... Uh, the nice thing about that is it's a smooth transi transition. So from strike down a couple of clicks, up a couple of clicks, it's a very smooth, you know, and gradual increase or decrease in drag, which is by far the biggest key in, in jigging. You don't want a really, really fast drag cam on a 
you know, jigging reels just because, you know, you can't control it. Um, you know, the more line you lose, the artificially your drag increases. So you really want to be in control of what you're doing, especially on super light line, super light rods with, you know, very small connections and all that. So you got to make sure you have the best drag, which accurate is pretty much the king as far as the accuracy of that. And lastly, just to close it out, I mean, these are welcome additions uh, into the accurate lineup. Uh, they've been really popular for the slow pitch jigging scene, so it's just nice to have you know, specific reels for that purpose. Um, the single speeds don't come with a clamp, so you know, they're made specifically for that. So you really, you know, you can get one. They are drilled for them, so you, you, know, you can get a clamp if you wanted to use it for other applications. That's for the 500 size? The 500 narrow, yeah, okay. the, the SPJ. Uh, the two-speed does come with a clamp kit inside, but it's not you know, installed or pre-installed for you. So you can do it if you want it. Um, you know, with the two-speed, you can do other things with it as well. So it might be useful for other stuff. How about the 300? Does that the clamp? 300, uh, no clamp as well. And it's just too small for to put anything like that on there. Um, no um, on the 300, you mentioned there is no uh, clicker. Yes. But the original one did not come with a clicker. They did add that as a feature for guys doing you know, other things. So it's a you know, welcome addition. They do a 300C, which is going to be the, the clicker version. I think those are about 10 bucks more yeah, in terms yeah, of price. Yeah, $10 more and, you know, for certain application. It's definitely useful. And then on the, the 500s, clicker is not an option. It yeah, is on, on is. None, none of the SPJ reels will have a clicker, so it's just, you know. Okay, on the speed jig. But that same reel would be available on the Valiants with the yeah. traditional ball handle, yes. you know, clicker, yeah, and clamp. Yep, you can get the standard 500N in the same exact configuration just with a clicker. Um, you can even get the same handle if you want to, handle arm. They, you know, they can customize a lot of that stuff. Um, hmm. So you can, you know, we've gotten reels with the same larger knob now already, so it's, uh, it's available as well. Very good. Okay, thank you. And uh, yeah, thank you. we'll have more new stuff coming. Uh, so stay tuned.